Hi, I'm Dave Strand. You already know I run the best asphalt seal coating company on the planet. Today, we're in my office and I'm going to tell you a little bit about how I got involved in the asphalt seal coating business. In 1972, I met a gentleman named Paul. We're not going to use his last name. He was in the asphalt seal coating business and he needed somebody to help him. Paul was an elderly gentleman from the south. Paul was really rough around the edges. He always had a Paul Mall hanging out of his mouth. He never shaved and he rarely showered. His seal coating rig was an old rusty El Camino and he had an old 250 gallon fuel oil tank in the back of it. Back then, all we used were oil-based sealers. Coal tar sealers hadn't been developed yet. Paul would go to DeWitt in Detroit and buy 100 gallons of asphalt sealer and because asphalt sealer has to be liquefied and because you can't liquefy oil-based asphalt sealers with water, he would then go to the fuel station and put 100 gallons of fuel oil in with the asphalt sealer and mix it with a shovel. Paul had absolutely no job sold. We specced everything. We would get in his El Camino first thing in the morning. Paul and I would go out and select a neighborhood and then we'd beat doors. We would tell potential customers that they needed their driveway seal coated and we're here in the neighborhood. Sometimes we got lucky and got a few driveways. Sometimes we didn't get lucky and we'd go home without a penny in our pocket. I worked with Paul for just a few months and after having a few problems with him, mostly him paying me, in fact, 45 years later, he still owes me money, I went out on my own. I had an old 1968 uh, Oldsmobile Toronado with a huge trunk in it. For my first year, I went to a local hardware store and bought sealer in five gallon pails and did the exact same thing. I went out and beat doors. It wasn't until the following year that I bought an old nasty pickup truck, put three 55 gallon barrels in the back of the pickup truck and started seal coating on my own. At that time, I had found Surface Coatings Company and I had found where we could buy good quality commercial grade asphalt sealer. So my next problem was how am I going to liquefy the sealer? Well, I take two of the 55 gallon barrels and I would fill them halfway up with asphalt sealer. Then I would put a third water in there and you're not going to believe this, but I mixed them with an electric boat motor. That's right. I took the electric boat motor and I put it right down into the asphalt sealer and I had a 20 foot lead on it that I could then attach to the battery on my pickup truck. My helper would take a three gallon pail, dip it into one of the 55 gallon barrels, pour it into a five gallon pail on the back of the truck and bring them to me. And then we would pour them on the pavement and I would spread them out with a squeegee. That is the same technique I used in my very first asphalt seal coating video on how to seal your own driveway and save yourself some money. After a couple of years of hand squeegeeing, I finally built my first seal coating rig. It was an old cube van that was purple and we named it Barney. What I liked about the cube van aspect was because I had a 300 gallon tank that was mounted right in the middle of the box van and I could stuff my tools up alongside of the tank and up along the sides of the cube van. Then the next thing to do was to start distributing flyers. I had an artist make some very, very fancy flyers. I took them to a printer, I got them printed, and we targeted neighborhoods that had asphalt driveways. We would go out at night and pass out flyers and then hopefully in the next few days the phone would ring. And we had a marginal amount of success with the flyers. It's a good way for a young seal coder or a young anybody in business to get his business off the ground. Be careful that you put the flyers into the press box and not into the mailbox. We had an incident where a mailman went around and pulled all of my flyers, turned me into the post office, and the post office made me pay 10 cents for every flyer he had picked up. In the beginning, 
I didn't make enough money seal coating asphalt to support myself. I was a drummer in a local barroom band and worked in a mobile gas station. I did this from the age of 18 until I was 33 years old. My second and current wife is a retired RN and her money really helped out in the beginning. It wasn't until about 15 years ago when I could support myself year round on my seal coating income. And that's how I got started in the asphalt seal coating business 47 years ago. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so Google sends me more money.